It's week four of high school football on the Gulf Coast, and we had a full slate of region action across the area last night. Some teams are already making statements. Baker and Foley each got their first region win last week. Which one would build on that momentum? Let's find out. It was our Fox 10 game of the week. The Lions start the season at two and one and picked up their first region win last week. Head coach Derek Scott in his third year at Foley making a gutsy call in overtime against MGM with a two point conversion, giving them the one point victory. Could they bring that momentum with them into Baker last night? The Hornets started the season at one and two, but that win was a region win at Davidson. The Hornets won the last meeting by one point in a nail biter. Let's head to Hornet Field. Homecoming night at Hornet Field. Baker's ready to put on a show for a packed crowd. Baker going for it early. Fourth of 15, Josh Flowers slips out, throws a dart to Cameron Ward, 22 yards and a first down. Now, a few plays later, third and 18, Flowers calls his own number. He'll slip a tackle, takes it in for an 18 yard touchdown. Hornets up 7 0. Get a little flyover to celebrate. Baker, we keep the party going on this ensuing kickoff. Foley's Isaac Gamez fields it but loses it on the return. Baker recovers and offense strikes fast. On the very next play, Flowers drops back and launches a 45-yard touchdown pass. This is Bryce Kane pulling it in to bring the lead to 14. Next possession for Hornet, Roderick Taylor takes the handoff and shows off the speed on his way in for a 16-yard TD. Three-score lead for the Hornets at this point. Special team woes continue for Foley. Baker blocks the punt, recovers it to set offense up in great field position, and then it's Flowers again, getting it done on the ground. Works his way through the defense for his third touchdown of the night. Baker rolling. Foley finally strikes back. Alabama commit Perry Thompson takes the kickoff, shows that four star, star speed off. He'll take it in 79 yards to the house, put Foley on the board. Now Foley trying to keep the momentum going. Next drive, but Reese Tynes pass intercepted by Jaden Campbell returns it all the way to the Foley 45. Next play Flowers works his magic again. He spins, he slips, spins again. He's in for 45 yards, another touchdown, four TDs for Flowers in the first half. Hornets go on to win this one big, 56. 35 your final there. Now heading over to Satsuma, Orange Beach coming to town. That goes. Beautiful night there. You see the fans piling in. Now Mako's William Turner chant to Chandler Wilson. This is a 20 yard TD. Nice way for the Makos to start. All right, great looking group there. Quarterback John Wallace Halliday, he'll keep it for the 30 yard touchdown run for Orange Beach. This puts them up by two scores at this point. Satsuma now is trying to get on the board. You're going to see Matthew Zyback right here finds a hole, punches it in, reaches that ball over the goal line, gets the Gators on the board. 14 6. Next series, Chris Pearson, he'll field the, the kickoff, that ensuing kickoff after the Gators score. And he is off. Check out the speed. He hits the sidelines, won't be caught. He takes this all the way down. 82 yard return, kickoff return for a touchdown there. Makos go on to win this one. Orange Beach 37, Satsuma 12, your final there. Now Davidson headed over to Daphne to take on the Trojans on the Eastern Shore. There are students ready for some action and it won't take long. First play of the game, Gabe Reynolds fakes the handoff and throws to Stephon Blackshear. It's a 35 yard completion. Now next play, Reynolds to Blackshear again. He stays on his feet, picks up another 35 yards. Great run there. A couple plays later, Nick Clark gets in on the action. He'll take the handoff into the end zone. Six nothing Trojan lead at this point. Now next possession for the Trojans. You're going to see Gabe Reynolds here take the snap, pump fake, throws to Stacy Boykins over the middle. Now Boykins breaks it to the outside, outruns the Warrior defense. <clears throat> He's in for the touchdown, 12-0 Daphne. Davidson, though, not giving up late in the first quarter. 
Derek Butler Jr. takes the handoff around the left side. He's in. Gets him on the board. Daphne still leading 12-7 at this point. Coach King says we need more. Second quarter, Stephen Blackshear in the Wildcat goes around the right side untouched. Puts the Trojans up 19-7 at that point. And Daphne goes on for the big win, 40-21 over the Warriors. Now, Williamson Viger in a 5A matchup. Third quarter, big kickoff return for the Lions' Jeremiah Owens, but wouldn't be able to capitalize. Still third quarter, Williamson field goals blocked here. Kevin Brister giving the Wolves great field position as he heads down to the sidelines, hoping to get more, but he does get it past midfield, set the Wolves up. Now fourth, <coughs> fourth uh, quarter and fourth down, Williamson can't get a hold of the punt get it away and the Wolves would have their best field position of the night right down on the one yard line and they're feeling like something's about to happen and that would give the Wolves the momentum to do this. Ja'Cory Barnes powers his way in and that would be the first score of the night and it would only take that one score because Viger goes on to win this when the final is six to nothing Viger over Williamson and just like that it's a wrap. In week four, it's in the books. A lot more region action to come next week, but there's plenty more football coming at you on Fox 10 this weekend. It all gets started with a huge game this morning at 11. It's the number one Crimson Tide headed to Austin, Texas to take on the Longhorns. After that, Washington State will take on Wisconsin. Then Sunday, it's the debut of NFL on Fox. We've got the Saints and Falcons at noon, followed by Green Bay at the Vikings. Enjoy all the action. I'm Hustlin' Hal Sherrick, and I'll see you again here on First and Ten next week. First and Ten Recap is sponsored by Fossek Tires and Service.